about the lighting in the parking garage. 7 a.m. Good morning, vlog. We're going to Chicago. Oh. Oh. important lesson for you in life no matter what whether it's in business or literally you always dress for where you're going okay now look at me I got my sweats on I got I'm double layered here I got my sweats because we're going to Chicago where it's currently 26 degrees and now you have Ronald here okay. we're wearing shorts like a true Floridian that's my boy Chicago, baby. The airport. We just got here. Ronald's freezing to death. And I'm not, because I'm warm. And my boy Zach is coming to pick us up from the airport. So that way we can go to our hotel, chill out, relax for a little bit. And then tonight is the dealer meet and greet, baby. 6 p.m. So just chilling, staying warm. Except they took the blue cheese and put ranch on it, of course. It's got like fries, coleslaw. They got the whole mix on here, dude. Suites in downtown. Is this downtown? It is downtown. Is it? We're in Chicago. We made it. Fairfield Inn and Suites. We're here and uh, we're just gonna chill out for a little bit. That's it. <laughs> This beautiful Sunday evening, right here in Chicago, where it's freezing. Do you think the lack of production value within those live videos kind of hurt them, or set them low? No, I think everybody should have a mix, because you need to have the quality content, the stuff to to promote your business, or you know, like I like I like having the vlog be really entertaining, more like a TV show. But there's plenty of people who also have a vlog just like pulling out their phone and just talking to it for two minutes. So as long as the content is good, it doesn't matter. As long as, you're, as, long as it's providing value to somebody, it doesn't matter. 
So. Thank you, Colin. For the... You're welcome. For your two-minute talk with Colin. Coffee with Colin. Scooter wise. Scooter wise. Yeah. Wait, you and I have your own episode. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm not I'm, I'm gonna tell everybody this story today. Yes. <laughs> I've been making fun of them all day. to talk to the camera? You don't like to be like, yo, blah, or yo. Not really. No. no, it's not really my style. I mean, I, I, I always think that I should do more of that. You yeah. know what I mean? I know I should do more of that. Take it to the next step. More, more, more selfies in the shop and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, people tell me, why don't you put your face in more? And I'm like, all right. Yeah, can I have another one, please? Hey, what's your name? Megan. Megan? Yes. I just want to say you're awesome. You're doing. Well, thank you. Like, you're so like. Why are you so happy? Do you love this? You love your job? I, I like working here. You do? Yeah, yeah it's fun cool. here. I like parties too. Everyone's like laid back, laid back. and in a good mood. So yeah, cool. it's I like. I, I enjoy your smile. You're like, you're like, hey, you want another one? Yeah, you want another one? I'll get one. <laughs> so, what's up, man? Josh. How you doing? I'm Colin. Nice to meet you, Colin. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Chicago. I'm actually Chicago. was working at Genuine as the parts and warranty person, now managing uh, Scooter Works Chicago. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm gonna hang out with you guys on Wednesday. I'm gonna come see you guys on That's Wednesday. Right here. Yeah, glad to have I'm, you. I'm here. excited, man. Like, we don't want to I just like checking in everything out. Like when, when, when do you go back? I on Facebook, so I see. Do you? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, thank you for that. I'm not gonna lie, I take some tips from you every now and then. All right. So. I'm not gonna lie, I talked to our parts guy. I was like, go, just get Josh on the phone. He'll take it. It's like, so he's not there anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have core values set up. You have core values. No, I, I, I'm telling you, dude. It, it, it's it's fine the way, when you have like four or five people, but as soon as you start to get more and more and more and more, it's stressful. To be able to like hold people accountable to that, say, dude, no, that violates core value. Hey, I heard you tell that customer like that you were gonna do something. Core value number five is to keep promises. You better do it. Like you like use it to hold people accountable. Especially as you grow, man. You gotta paint the picture, right? Like you're the visionary. Like where what is what is your business gonna look like in 20 years? Like people people wanna have purpose in what they're doing, right? They wanna believe in what they're doing. So paint that picture for them. 